A Bronx man who spent nearly half his life in prison for a crime he says he did not commit is now free. And it turns out his attorney has an extra special connection to the case. CBS News' Jessica Moore has the exclusive interview. Andre Brown's smile now stretches as far as his future as he embraces the two men who helped get him out of prison after 22 years. I'm going to made it without these guys. Brown was a 22 year old college student in 1999 when he says he willingly went in for questioning about an attempted murder in the Bronx, knowing he had nothing to do with the crime. A year later, he was sentenced to 40 years to life in prison. It was just an astronomical, heart wrenching feeling. I want to say that I lost hope at that moment when they put the handcuffs on me. What had the last 22 years been like? Hell. Hell. Wow. You know, I give you the strongest word, emphatically, hell. Last week, a judge vacated Brown's conviction, citing ineffective counsel, and released him on his own recognizance while the DA's office appeals that decision. Brown's attorney, Jeffrey Deskovic, spent 16 years in prison before being exonerated himself for a crime he didn't commit. This case marks his first victory as a practicing lawyer. It just inspiring to obviously have Jeff, you know, next to me in the, in, in the courtroom because he's a living example of what could people can do once they're given the opportunity. This was your first win as an attorney. How did that feel? <laughs> it felt surreal. It felt the realization of a dream. And now Brown can live out his dreams as well, which started the minute he was released with a trip to a restaurant alongside his wife, Tamika, and the men who helped set him free. I was able to have surf and turf. <laughs> I was able to, I didn't even know how to tell them I wanted the steak. I know all about the lobster tail, the, and I just, just soaking it into the butter. It was just, it was just so delicious. You know, it was so transforming in my heart because I was used to a prison dinner. Brown lost a lot while in prison, but his spirit remains strong, and he wants others who are wrongfully in prison to know there is hope on the other side. In Pelham Bay, the Bronx, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. The Bronx District Attorney is appealing the judge's ruling and must then decide whether to retry the case. His attorneys say they're not concerned because the evidence of his innocence is so strong.